Setting the stage, China's Shenzhou 9 spacecraft changes orbit in preparation for docking with the Tiangong 1 module. And rendezvous promising more groundbreaking breakthroughs. China's first female astronaut, inspiring more to follow. The Tiangong 1 has been orbiting the Earth for months. Is the Shenzhou 9 docking the dawn of China's permanent space presence? Find out the answers on CCTV News special live coverage of China's most ambitious manned space mission to date. Welcome back, and China's manned spacecraft, the Shenzhou 9, has begun its first change of orbit after Saturday's successful launch. The three astronauts are all well and have finished their planned tasks. Yang Yan has this update. China's Flight Control Center guided the spacecraft into its initial orbit in the early hours of Sunday morning Beijing time. Then the three astronauts monitored the orbit change process from their capsule. They then changed from their spacesuits into light work clothes. Then engineers on the ground were able to speak to them for the first time. We are glad our female astronaut is feeling good. This is the first time we've been able to contact with each other. We'll get her latest information. Other changes in orbit are still needed as the spacecraft prepares to dock with Space Lab Module Tiangong-1. The rendezvous and docking exercises between the two vessels will be an important test of China's ability to match the technology required to build a space station by 2020. Yang Yan, CCTV. Well, Russia certainly has uh, a long history when it comes to space uh, technology and progress and we're going to see what the Russian perspective is on the Shenzhou 9. Our correspondent Yu Ker is with us in Moscow. Welcome Yu Ker. So what uh, kind of reaction are you seeing there in Moscow after the launching of the Shenzhou 9 on Saturday? Um, this is a big event, not only in China, but also here in Russia, in Moscow. We all know that Russia really is a big player in the game of space technology, you know, historically and currently. So I didn't expect that Russian citizens would have uh, such a big reaction to uh, what we have done in the space um, program. What is very interesting is that yesterday, after watching the report of China's launching Shenzhou 9 spaceship, I uh, took a walk to a bar, and in the street, I uh, met people waving hands to me and shouting, great job, China. You know, I was a little bit shocked by that. And uh, when I was um, passing by a university, I saw Chinese and Russian students holding national flags of both countries, and uh, they looked really excited. And uh, the most interesting thing is that uh, when I got into a bar, uh, the bartender asked me if I was from China, and I said yes, and uh, the bartender and his fellows just um, expressed congratulations to me that China has successfully launched um, its new spaceship. Um, you know, especially at a time uh, when Moscow was covered by an uh, uh, atmosphere of Euro Cup, although the uh, football game has uh, become the hottest topic of everyone in Moscow. But uh, I, was really happy, I was really happy to see that our um, success in space program is also um, playing a game here. And uh, when we were speaking earlier, you, you did mention that the Russians have expressed their confidence in the Shenzhou 9 space mission. What is their general opini opinion on China's space industry? Um, as a uh, correspondent working um, here in Moscow, I uh, noticed that in uh, recent years, Russia apparently has uh, paid more and more attention to uh, China's fast developing uh, space program. Ever since the year of 2008, when uh, China first sent three uh, astronauts into space, uh, finishing uh, first spacewalk, since then, Russia has put more and more focus on China's every actual space program. Uh, not only actual move, but also China's future space plan. Um, the mainstream media of Russia has uh, frequently um, reported almost each one of China's moves on a space project. Not only sending astronauts into space, but also including uh, sending lunar probe Chang'e. And uh, talking about such huge programs, such as a space project, you need to have big money unstoppably invested into the big program. And uh, Russia currently is a country who has a, a healthy economy, but at the same time, whose total amount of economy is not big enough to afford huge programs. And I think it is reasonable to uh, understand why uh, now more um, concentrations here are uh, shifting to China. 
All right, Luke, many thanks indeed uh, for giving us the Russian perspective there. That's our correspondent, Luke, in Moscow.